If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. There's a lot of BFA in this set. We're going to start with the shoulders, which are out of the Eternal Palace Heroic. Kind of a low drop rate, but worth the effort. Moving on, you really can't see the uh, chest piece here, so you could always substitute it. Doomblade Tunic, the Nighthold, Croesus is the boss. Kind of a low drop rate on that as well. Moving on, the belt is going to bring us back to BFA, and of course, the Eternal Palace Heroic Blackwater Behemoth, 5% on the drop rate, Ship Swallower's Belt. Interesting name. We have a Zandalari Troll showing you the legs, which are part of the same tier set out of the Nighthold as the chest piece. Gul'dan is the boss, kind of a low drop rate to get the legs. Moving on, we're going to show you the boots, which you can actually craft if you want BFA level leatherworking. Check your local leatherworker or auction house, or of course you could get it out of the Eternal Palace Heroic. And the gloves also Eternal Palace Heroic. Queen Ashara herself will give you the hands. And moving on, the back piece, which you just saw on the spin, Waycrest Guards Cloak. Drusfar is an Order of Embers equipment cash piece. Moving on to Tabard, Rust Bolt Resistance Tabard from Mechagon. Rust Bolt Quartermaster, you need some gold and exalted to get that tabard. And the head is the Mask of the Artful Dodging, straight out of the Rogue Order Hall. Mysterious Crates, your best bet. Check Wowhead for more info. And Lich King drops the blade or the dagger. We're mixing a match in Kata and Wad, the shoulder, shoulder pads of the Forgotten Gate. Firelands Balarock, 11% on the drop rate. Moving on, they will show you the chest, or basically you really can't see the chest. You can show the, you can see the arms of the chest. Iron Pelt Jurgen, Hellfire Citadel Archmond is the boss, kind of a low drop rate for that uh, raid set. Moving on, the belt is next. Got a Blood Elf showing you the belt, which is of course called a Rune Sworn. Waste Guard, which is straight out of Stormheim. Uh, it's a quest reward, as you can see, Shadows in the Mists. So that's very, very gettable. Moving on, the legs, Iron Pelt Leggings, Hellfire Citadel, Gorefiend is the boss. Kind of a low drop rate to pick up the legs, which is part of the same tier set as the chest piece. Got a Lady Human showing you the feet. Treads of Dismal Fortune. Trial of the Crusader, Champion's Cash, kind of a decent drop rate. I think that's Alliance only. The Hands, Iron Pelt Mitts, Hellfire Citadel, Tyrant Vil Harry is the boss. And moving on, the back is the Fortitude of Dianar. Now, I didn't show it here, but it's a brown cape that you get from a quest reward in Gorgrond. And the Tabard, Lightforge Tabard, Stormwind Embassy for the Alliance. It's a quest reward once you open up the Lightforge Trenai to be playable. Toria's Perseverance and Anne Jungle, various mobs or buy it on the auction house to get that eye patch. And the last piece is the Dagger, which is at a Dragon Soul, 45% on the drop rate at a Dragon Soul. We're gonna start off with the shoulder pads or the spalders, poisonous spalders, black rock foundry, operator Thogar, 14% on the drop rate for those shoulders. Got a little bit of a pirate look here, I guess, a little bit of a shadow pan look also. Uh, the chest slayers, chest guard, uh, Black Temple, Illidan Storm Raid, 58% on that chest piece. That's the old tier set from BC. You could go with the one from Legion as well, your choice. We got a troll showing you the belt, Vindicator's Leather Belt. BC PvP Vendor, just one mark of honor to get that old Vindicator's Leather Belt. Moving on, we're going to show you the legs, which are straight out of Legion. The PvP Vendor, you got to have all the marks of honor to buy the Ferocious Gladiator's Leggards or... Uh, the same tier set as the chest piece. So one of those two, that's why I listed them differently. I believe it's Cruel. Cruel Gladiators, Leather Slippers. Yes, Rogues in Slippers, kind of fearful. That's a PVP piece from Legion. The Hands Throat Ripper Gauntlets. Now we're getting into the nasty rogue stuff. High Mall is the place to get those. The back is the Cruel Gladiators Shadow Cape, Legion PVP Vendor. Of course, that's gonna cost you Marks of Honor. And now we have a Night Elf showing you the Tabard, which is the Shadow Pan Tabard. Out of Town Long Steps, Shadow Pan Quartermaster are going to cost you some gold as well as reputation. The head, General Eridos Tricorn, the Burning Throne, Mythic, a 
Admiral Sirvex, I believe, is the boss, and the weapon is the Fang of Earth. Blackrock Foundry, Chromog is the boss. In some ways, green is just money, and I kind of like this set for rogues. Ricocheting, Shoulder Guard, Siege of Ogremar, Iron Juggernaut, 8% on the drop rate. Now, you can tell me this might not be a rogue thing, but there are two rogue tier sets that happen to be green, and this is kind of one of them here. The Chess Guard of the Uncrowned, Road Order Hall. Also, that the, the set from Legion, both the chest and the legs here are green as well. So there is quite a bit of green with rogue tier sets. The Wild Gladiator's Belt of Cruelty, if you're Horde, it'll be warmongering. Just one mark of honor from that Warlords of Drain All the Fun PvP set. The legs, leggings of the Uncrowned, Rogue Order Hall, Kelsey, Steel Spark. What a name. Quartermaster. Gotta buy some bite for some gold or also need some rep to pick that up. The feet foot pads of the uncrowned, part of that rogue tier set from your order hall, along with the chest and legs. Moving on, the hands are from Siege of Ogamar. Galacross is the boss, 14% on the drop rate. And the back is the Parrot Feather Cloak, Freehold. Sky Captain Crag, 12% on the drop rate, so that's memorable because it's a dungeon. The Tabard, Tiller's Tabard, Valley of the Four Winds, Tiller's Quartermaster, Gold and Rep. Gotta head over to Miss Pandaria to pick that up. And the head is straight out of Siege of Ogamar, Garage Hellscream himself, 16% on the drop rate. And the last piece is the weapon, Soul Render's Fang. That's a dungeon at a BFA. If you want to pick up the shoulders, well, you're going to have to head over to the Battle of Dazzle Ahar. The LFR version, King Rastakhan, 5% on the drop rate to get the Phantom Stalker shoulders. Moving on, we're going to spin you all the way back in time to Blackwing Descent, Heroic, which of course is out of Cataclysm. Sark of, or Sark of the Unwatched, interesting name, 13% on the drop rate. Got a lady, Night Elf, showing you the belt, War Beast, Hide, Cinch. Battle of Dazzle Ahar, LFR version, various mobs, or basically, I think it might be a drop that you can buy in the auction house, not 100% sure. Moving on, the legs are the Windstalker Leggings, Throne of the Four Winds, Heroic, Heart of Wind is the boss, and about a 16% drop rate on the legs. Got a dude, oh wow, this looks nice on a Blood Elf, dude. Silent Pillager's Foot Pads, Dal I was gonna say Daddle of Basilahar, <laughs> LFR version, various mobs. Kind of fair drop rate, which means low drop rate, but addressed from a lot of different sources. The Hands Gloves of Spiritual Grace, Battle of Dazzle Ahar. Frida Iron Bellows is the boss. Kind of a fair drop rate. Dressed from a few others as well, but she's got the best drop rate. And we have a Lady Undead showing the Gilded Thorian Cloak, Karazhan BC version, Terrestrian Illhoof is the boss. And you got about a 17% chance of getting that cape. And the head, Helm of Imagined Horrors, Hellfire Citadel, Mythic, Shadow Lord, Iskar, 12% drop rate. And the weapon is crafted from Wrath of the Lich King level blacksmithing. Spin in the clock back to BC. We're going to start with the shoulders, Nether Blade shoulder pads, Gruul's Lair, High King Mulgar. 60% on the drop rate for that BC tier shoulder piece. Moving on, we're going to show you the chest, which is kind of behind that tabard there. Nether blade chest piece, Mag Theradon's lair. He's the one and only boss there. 58% on the drop rate to pick up that rogue tier chest. Moving on to belt, Grievous Gladiator's Waistband of Accuracy. Ma PvP vendor, just one mark of honor to pick up that waistband from Mist of Pandaria PvP. Moving on, the legs, Netherblade Breaches, Gruul's Lair once again, Gruul the Dragon Killer is the boss, and it's got about a 61% drop rate, so not a bad drop rate. Moving on, we're going to show you a Lady Undead with the Rapscallion Boots at a Karazhan BC. Shade of Aaron is the boss, 15% on the drop rate. The hands, Nether Blade Gloves, Karazhan BC, of course. The Curator is the boss, and 28% on the drop rate. The back, Pulled Wool, Fellwood, Quest Reward for Dance for Rumbo. Or there's a crafted piece from Leatherworking as well. The Tabard, our Gussian Reach Tabard, and Torn Waste, as you can see, 300 gold plus obviously some rep. Moving on, the headpiece, 
treasure hunters bandana taladar various mobs or you could just step up buy it on the auction house that of course is from warlords of drain all the fun and the blade is from karazan bc version if you're still listening up and until now i want to say thank you for watching and i'll close out by saying what i always say whatever it is by you whether it is morning afternoon or night make your day epic <laughs>